Greetings fellow mathematicians. Today brings an investigation about place value. Think about what you already know about place value. Talk to a friend about place value and when you're ready to share, do that. Let's investigate how we can describe two digit numbers using standard and non-standard place value without blocks. Let's select cards to make a two digit number. What number did we make? Did we make 63? Let's record 63 in a place value chart. How could we describe 63 using standard place value by naming the values of each digit? Could we describe 63 using standard place value as 6 tens and 3 ones? Let's investigate how we can describe 63 using non-standard place value. Let's imagine that we only have four tens. How many ones will we have? If we see four tens as tens, that means we're seeing two tens as ones. Is two tens 20 ones? How many ones will we have if we have 20 ones plus the three ones? Will we have 23 ones? Could we describe 63 using non-standard place value as four tens and 23 ones? Let's imagine that we only have two tens. How many ones will we have? If we see two tens as tens, that means we're seeing four tens as ones. Is four tens 40 ones? How many ones will we have if we have 40 ones plus the three ones? Will we have 43 ones? Could we describe 63 using non-standard place value as two tens and 43 ones? Let's imagine now that we're seeing the whole 63 as ones. How many ones will we have? Will we have 63 ones? Could we describe 63 using non-standard place value as 63 ones? Can we read across the place value chart to see 63 as 63 ones? Did we describe 63 using non-standard place value in more than one way?